Hello and welcome! In this video we will be going back to the basics and I mean really basic. For this video we're going to install Unreal Engine because I had to format my computer it was getting laggy so yeah why not show how it's done so first, you just need to en enter the page of Unreal Engine. You choose your favorite web, web browser and then search unrealengine.com. Here, you will need to sign in and create an Unreal Engine account. Or, well, an Epic Games account. You can use it also to play Fortnite if you want, but... But, well, here... I'm already signing. Here is my account. And I just need to click on download. Here you will have different licensing options. One, the publishing license. Uh, both are free to use, but in the case of the publishing li license, if you want to release a game, and well, uh, certain products like for the marketplace, uh, you will need to give this price, this royalty, and you can read a lot more about it. But keeping it simple, when the gross revenue exceeds exceeds the first million, then you need to start paying a five percent royalty on the next income right and i mentioned the marketplace the market marketplace do, do, doesn't really pay this royalty because we already pay uh, a different percentage when we upload something to the marketplace so it's more more for projects like games and as it says it's also suitable for learning and personal projects because maybe you you develop a real simple game maybe in a game jam and then you decide to monetize it then I would usually choose this if I'm working on games if I'm working on internal projects something that I would not release or maybe custom applications for for in other industries, like it says, typically used by professionals in industries outside of games, such as architecture, automotive, and film, film and TV. And also, it can be used for students, educators, and personal learning. Then you would choose the creator, the creator's license, and there are no royalties. So if you're not doing a game, then you don't need to worry about the royalty when your product ships and starts selling. So yeah, choose the license that is most su suitable to you and just click on download. You click on download. I'm a game developer, so this is the license I, I have to use. And you, you just need to save the file and run it. In my case, I already have the file here somewhere here it is and we have the launcher let's install it i'm gonna change this this route because this path if you see my my pc my local disk is an ssd drive and it only has a hundred and 10 gigabytes. I know. I should get <laughs> another one. But I don't want to install Unreal Engine here because I, I may install the launcher so it, it runs faster, but the engine I would have to definitely install on one of these partitions. Probably this one. But I wanted this one. I make some I'll make some space in when I post the video. 
But because I'm going to install Unreal Engine and Unreal uh, takes a, a little bit of space, what I'm going to do is install it here on one of these two folders, probably this one, because it will be a 64 bits application. And what are these folders? There are basically like shortcuts. These are called symbolic links. And what they do, it's like making the system think that there is a folder here and that this folder exists in this partition. But what it really is, we're just redirectioning all the data that it's using this path to. And even you can see it here, like you would think that this it's on the C drive, but anything here, like for example, Handbrake, if you look at its path, the true path, can you see it here? I believe not. Well, <laughs> the computer really thinks that this is here, but it's really on data. Q program files. And here it is. It's the same folder structure. So I'm making the the computer believe that this ha RB this has been stored on the C drive. But I don't want it there because I'm lacking some space. How do you create this stuff easily? Well, you can download a, a little program called Link Shell Extension. And when you install it, it's a free, a free program, by the way. When you install it, for example, let's say, I want this mm. let me check another drive. Yeah, for example, this folder called games. I can right click it, pick a link source, and go to my C drive, right click, and drop as symbol symbolic link, a junction. I may make a smart copy or a smart mirror. There are a lot of things you can do with this program, but I use it mostly for the symbolic link because it's really easy to make. It will ask for permission and then it will do it. So now there is a path inside of C that when you put something here, it will go to the E drive that it's entertainment. And you can see the game I have here. So that's a way that I can keep clear my SSD drive from heavy programs. Let, uh, and to remove the symbolic link, you just delete it. And there it is, done. So maybe if you if you think you have make, made a mistake, then you can just delete the shortcut and it's done. So yeah, let's return to the installer. What I'm doing here is just putting a queue before it and I name it queue program file files because of this. So it's easier to edit. You can call it what you want really. And now when I install it, if you see the stats, I will not consume 79, any of these free giga, gigabytes that I have here. It, it will go into data that, and thinking about it, it may be a little bit dangerous. So I'm going to start deleting some stuff while it finishes the setup.
And now that the launcher has finished, well, launching, it will ask you to sign in to your Epic account. So I'll do that while some stuff is being deleted in the background. So we just sign in. I'm gonna pause the video here, sign in, and so I can keep my my account from being hacked. <laughs> now we just need to uh, do this captcha. More bicycles, I guess. Trail in? What? I mean, I know it's a little late, but it's not that late. Yeah, trains, like... You can miss that. More trains. Almost click that train, train. I mean, you could consider it... <laughs> The seat con contains a train? Yeah, I guess this is a train, right? This is also a train. This is a bus. Come on. Yes. Well, it will ask a security code here. And we input it. Continue. And now the Epic Games launcher is preparing. I do not know how I have so many requests, but what we need to do now is install the engine. To do that, we just need to click here, install the engine, or we could go to library, engine version, maybe if you don't need the last one, you could choose uh, a previous one. In my case, I need this one and the last one, so I'll start. Uh, let's start with this one. And now, I'll set the current. Uh, it won't matter now because I only have one ver version. So now we install it. And here it's asking us, where do we want to install it? Well, I know just the place. And we want to install it here for the same reason. I do not have a lot of space. Oh, nice. Folders too big? Yes, delete it. And yeah, I wanted a, uh, a shortcut. And this is fine. We just need to click install. And the waiting game begins. This is going to download the engine, then install it, and then verify that every file it's okay and if every file is okay then we're good to go there's only a little bit of of setting up that this is missing but we will do it when well ah the yeah the deletion is not complete yet so i do not have so, but this is a good example of how much space do you need? You need like 40 gigs. So yeah, when this completes, I resume and I'll see you when the engine is already installed. And now that the engine has finally finished downloading, installing and verifying, which took considerable amount of time we can finally use it we just need to launch it and I'll do just that it will run some prerequisites if it's needed and after that it will show us the menu to create a project we can either create a project for Intended for gaming, for cinematic purposes, etc., etc. And also, there are a lot of templates that you can use 
to learn. But just another uh, tip of installation here. Um, as I was saying, my SSD doesn't have a lot of space, so every time I'm gonna open the the editor because I will be importing assets and materials will be compiling. What the engine does is save that compiled material and put it into the into the disk finally yes and because it does that the pc uses the let me see if i can find it yeah hello here it is it uses the app data local and in the case of the launcher uh, local launcher epic games launcher and in case of the real engine uh, yes allow it it will use this folder and again this could increase really easily if we open a large pro project like i don't know if you guys have tested the the boy and and, and a kite demo it's a a large map with a lot of objects and those get stored here that uh, whenever you you see shaders need to be compiled yeah that that compilation is being stored somewhere so what i do is go to this folder for example epic games launcher uh, or unreal engine and do the exact same thing that i did before uh, explorer here and i just right click and cut and paste it for example in me in my other partition, maybe in data, app data, local, and real engine, and paste it here. And then I'll do the same procedure as picking a link source. And here in the app data folder that is usually hidden, then I, I drop the, the symbolic link here. I won't do it before, be, right now because the engine is starting and it's probably going to store some things here and I can't copy and paste something that it's being induced. The same thing with the Epic Games launcher. I will wait for the engine to, to launch, to close it and then close also the launcher and do the same exact exact thing just copy the folder to another partition where there is more space and then drop a symbolic link here and before i go before this reaches 20 minutes here is the browser the unreal break browser as i said you can choose a game film television architecture automotive etc if you choose game there will be templates that you can check out. These templates are not the like written in stone that this is the way you do a first person game or a flying game. They are just a starter content to get get you help through get you through the first step of making a game. So yeah, that will be it. Hopefully, you find this useful. I'll see you next time.